Hello everybody. Today we are going to go over star classification. So in your Edmodo, um, go to the post that says star classification. We have the link for the reading. We have my email you can send your assignments to. And we have the practice questions. So let's get into this. So if you look at stars in the night sky, they actually look pretty similar. But if you're able to get a close enough look, you can see differences. Most obviously are going to be differences in size and color. So um, differences in color have to do with temperature. So here they talk about an electric stove coil. I prefer to talk about it as maybe a blowtorch. Um, so, or a Bunsen burner, if you're familiar with that. So when you start off, um, the cooler temperatures, it's red, then it gets kind of orange, then it gets like yellowish, maybe a bit whitish, and then it gets bluish and a bit whitish. So these color changes are due to changes in temperature. So star temperatures are going to be measured in degrees Kelvin. And the Kelvin scale has to do with particle motion. So the lowest temperature on the Kelvin scale is called absolute zero. So it's zero Kelvin. Um, and that means molecules have no motion. So absolutely zero motion. Um, Kelvin is related to Celsius and Fahrenheit as shown in these equations. So if you're given a Kelvin temperature, and you want to find the cell that temperature in Celsius, you take your Kelvin temperature and subtract 273.15. Now, if you have the Kelvin temperature and you want to convert it into Fahrenheit, you take your Kelvin temperature, multiply it by 9 fifths, whatever you get there, you subtract 459.67. Now here is a graph of the brightness or absolute magnitude of stars versus their color or temperature. This is called the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. Now a lot of these are going to fit in along the main sequence. Okay, these are main sequence stars. Now here is um, a picture of different stars compared to our sun, which is actually a star. So our sun is one solar mass. So we have a red giant, which is less than five solar masses, um, a blue white supergiant that is going, going to be 150 solar masses, and a red dwarf, which is smaller than the sun at 0 0.08 solar masses. So these all have different sizes. Um, some of them have different colors than others, and they have different lifespans. Um, but we're going to get into that in the future. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.